Hi, welcome back. I'm Anna. I work for our Community Kitchen Programs of Calgary, and I run a program called Calgary's Cooking. This next video, we are talking about kitchen safety. So, just as a quick review, you want to make sure that before you begin any work in the kitchen, that you've washed your hands with warm soapy water. And if you are wearing uh, any kind of jewelry, you want to remove them or at least put on gloves. In this case, if you are allergic to latex, there is latex free gloves available pretty much everywhere. Then you want to make sure that you wear, uh, you wear gloves if you are wearing a band-aid. And then you want to make sure that your work surface is clean and uncluttered. Okay, so again, a nice sanitizer solution, a little bit of bleach and water, or you can use warm water with a little bit of dish soap, and then you want to wipe down your surface. And then you want to prepare it for the cutting board. So again, make sure your surface is nice and clean and it's cluttered free. You don't have a lot of stuff around you because the more stuff you have around you, the more cluttered it becomes and the more opportunity it is to hurt yourself. If you're using a cutter board, cutting board, make sure you put a grip down. So either a grip like this that you can get at a dollar store and you can cut it down to size or a damp, damp wet cloth would be, would work just as well. Your cutting board down, and again, if you put a grip under it, it doesn't move the cutting board, which is really important when you are using the cutting board to actually cut anything. The other thing that I wanted to focus on was how do you work around a hot stove top and or an oven that's been turned on? One of the things that you wanna make sure is on the stove top in particular, that your pot handles are turned away from you. The reason why you want to do that is because oftentimes we get busy, we get distracted in the kitchen, we'll put something on the stovetop and we'll forget to turn in our handles and then we walk past it, we hit the pot, it tips over and then we could potentially burn ourselves. I have seen this happen and I have seen people receive three uh, third degree burns as a result. So please make sure to turn your pot handles away. Now what that looks like is essentially what you see right here. The pot handle is turned away. What you don't want is you don't want it to be like this. Okay, this, not so good. This, very good, okay? Now another thing that I see is when somebody wants to take something out of the oven. You have to take, you have to have a bit of thought of, okay, once you remove something out of the oven, it's going to be hot. What do you do with it? So before you even take anything out of the oven, you want to set yourself up so that you have somewhere to put that hot item. In this instance, I have a cooling rack. So when I go to remove my baking sheet from the oven, I'm going to number one, put on really good oven mitts. You want to make sure that your oven mitts are there's no holes in them whatsoever. They're nice and thick, but you can still grab things. If you're having a hard time grabbing, probably means that your oven mitts are too big for you, okay? So again, you wanna make sure that you put your oven door down all the way. Do not use the bottom of your foot to put the door down, which I have seen, and you don't wanna do that. So you wanna make sure the oven door goes down all the way. Then you wanna make sure you grab your baking pan with both hands, okay? Close your oven door, and then you wanna take your hot pan and put it on your cooling rack, okay? So you, again, just to clarify, make sure you have somewhere to put your hot pan before you take it out of the oven, okay? The other thing I wanted to address was when you go to drain things out of a pot. So for example, macaroni, pasta, anything like that. So we have here a pot and what you wanna do, what I like to do is again, I will use my oven mitts, okay? Because the pot handles can get quite warm and if you've got a lid on the pot, sometimes steam can escape from the lid, okay? So what I like to do is remove the lid of the pot. And again, you wanna set yourself up so that you have somewhere to drain your items before you carry your hot pot over to the sink. So in this instance, I have 
a strainer and I'm gonna place it here in my sink. And then I'm going to carry this pot over to the sink and then I'm going to drain the items out of it. Now, the other thing, just as a caution, make sure you don't have anything on the floor that could trip you or could get in the way. So you wanna make sure your, your space where you're gonna walk is nice and clear of debris. Then you're gonna carry your pot and you wanna tip the pot away from you, okay? Now, the reason why you wanna tip it away from you is to prevent any kind of hot item spilling onto you. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take the pot and they'll actually do this. That is not what you want to do. You always want to tip the pot away from you. So that in case anything falls out or if any steam escapes, it escapes away from you. Okay, so it will prevent you from burning yourself. If you're interested in learning more about health and safety and food safety, you can always go online and do a food safe certification. It is very simple. It takes about three hours. There usually is a small charge attached to it, but it is available. All you have to do is just Google food safe certification in your area and all sorts of available, available food safe courses are there for you to take. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and have yourself a good day.